Alright, hey there. I'm going to be starting to do videos teaching some of my techniques that I do in my videos. Now, today I'm going to look at uh, slap guitar. I've had a couple of people asking me how I do uh, the slap sound in videos of modern blues and you can't beat a Stratocaster. So I'm going to show you today. Um, I'm in just standard tuning, E, and I'm just using my strap, um, my, a normal amp, pretty, no effects or anything, a bit of reverb maybe, and yeah, we're going to see what we can do. Um, net pick up for this, but it will work with any. Um, right, so on a bass guitar, you tend to use um, like the edge of your thumb just to slap away. Now. Yeah, that works, but we're going to try and um, do a different technique. I'm not saying either is better, but it's how I do it. So instead of hitting it, which does give an admittedly funky sound, we're going to actually get under the string with our thumb. So if you look here. Um, we're gonna do, and now with a pop, with our, we're going to use our other fingers um, on the other strings and get under it in the other direction, so as if we've like, got a claw around it. So how this works is um, we'll have a pop and we might have an embellishment, uh, sorry we'll have a slap and a pop and we might have an embellishment with it. So we're working in the third position in E, standard tuning, um, so we, we might go so that's So we've got open this one. On the D string we're getting a, a, a pop on the 5th fret. And then we're hitting the E string open. And then on the A string we're going 5 to 7. Let's go. So you can do all sorts of stuff. We can also do the same kind of thing in drop D. Um, for this, we're in the same position technically, but we've dropped the tuning, we're still going to use uh, the same position now, instead of, so still in the pentatonic, but we're kind of using a different part of it, and um, just gets easier when we're doing the slap guitar, uh, you'll see why in a second. So, what we're doing, same kind of uh, slap routine, I'm not going <laughs> to show you exactly how to do it, because uh, it's pretty complicated, but um, if, if you really want to know, uh, I need a couple of comments and I might consider doing it, but here we go. It's so there we can see that we can add in a lot more notes, not just pentatonic. spice it up a bit and especially when you're doing lots of quick hammer runs it can sound really good and we're doing the same kind of thing because we're, also, we're slapping first and then just hammering on without actually hitting it again so that slap uh, still sounds quite profound We can also use this technique to do much more bluesy stuff um, rather than just that kind of heavy funk, I suppose you'd call it. Um, to do this, it's Matt Schofield does it. Um, and basically, we, we do the same technique, but we can add a bit um, more on the higher strings. So let's have a go at this. <laughs> So we're not really doing anything that much different there, but we can uh, use the same popping technique with our uh, index finger, for example, to get a much more funky sound from these tire strings. And you'll see I do that kind of thing on my video called Prowling Blues. Um, so it's quite a subtle technique, and it's, uh, well, the sound isn't subtle, <laughs> but it should be quite fun to play around with. So definitely try different tunings, uh, drop D I find is the best, um, and also see if you can integrate it into 
um, your blues stuff. Yeah, so I hope that helps, and check out my other videos.